we don't charge any money for that. Okay, so I'll come back to you later and I'd like you to tell us, um, the general public, what is it that we all stand to benefit with the provision of these 307 ambulances? Uh, how will this add to the fleet that you already have? What will the final figure after today turn out to be across the country? So you chew on that whilst we go into the van and, and see what services are provided here. Uh, so I'll go in with the dudes and um, Mr. Uh, Damansuglu. Uh, so you, you tell us. So um, we are currently in the van. This is one of the 307 uh, ambulances that have been brought into the country, which shortly uh, will be commissioned and distributed to all constituencies across uh, the, the, the country. But indeed, what are these ambulances made of? What kind of services can these ambulances offer? You tell me, um, 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 Mike. Yes, you see, this particular ambulance, mm. or these ambulances that have just been brought into the country, is a state-of-the-art ambulance. Mm. You know, if you compare this particular ambulance with the T5, that is the VW that was imported into the country somewhere in 2012, you will see that it is more enhanced. Because first, we are not having fetal monitor. This is the fetal monitor. If you are transporting a pregnant woman, with this fetal monitor, mm. you are able to listen to the breath, uh, the lung sounds, or the, I mean, you are able to determine, give all the interventions you need. Zimeters enable us to take the, uh, the oxygen saturation in the blood of the patient to determine whether how much oxygen you should deliver. For instance, if we're transporting a patient who is diabetic, it was difficult to check the glucose or the sugar level. Mm -hmm. But these days, I mean, with these ambulances, we have all those, I mean, uh, gadgets and nets. And not only that, because you can see many of them, and uh, I will just leave some for my colleagues yes. to continue. Yes, but before then, I have a question. Um, I know that uh, whilst you are transporting a patient from one point to another, you may need to uh, communicate with the receiving hospital or medical facility. Um, are, are there any gadgets that will enable you to contact a doctor and tell him the kind of situation you have at hand and which we should prepare for? Sure. Yes. You can see that they have the fixed. Mm -hmm. All the uh, gadgets over there. Right. We have the communication, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Coaches and everything in there. You can see there's one telephone here. Mm. The driver has one just by him. So, whatever the medics are in here and the medic driver, if the condition is getting bad, the, the medics here can talk in the medical, the state of the arts. I mean, uh, emergency medical services are inside these ambulances. They are more equipped. They are just mini theater or mini hospitals. And we are so blessed to have them. And about, and that uh, sometimes uh, you are in an ambulance, but even oxygen is. So in pre hospital care, oxygen is supposed to provide actually because of the thing is locked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we suppose we have two oxygen cylinders here. We're supposed to administer oxygen from so at this point we actually have two or twins and you need to give all of them oxygen so they made provision for two that you can actually give so in this particular uh, ambulance it is well equipped and the cylinder is not one it's actually two so when one is exhausted then you go on to the other one you can immediately actually uh, make provision for the next one when you hand over your patient so, with this okay. one, I, so I, I do hope we get the opportunity to speak again uh, at the tail end of the ceremony there's a ceremony here in the country the president of BBC will bring you uh, full details of the commissioning will continue to bring you updates we'll take you over to the main days where as soon as the president arrives we'll have the see one ambulance each from the <laughs>
procuring these new ambulances. Because having done some research in the continent, this is the highest fleet any government um, has procured at any point in time. We have prepared ourselves as the agency that is going to work with these vehicles. We have trained some of our emergency medical technicians, passed out about 600 last December. We are in the process of recruiting the cohort of medical technicians, saying that every single proof of emergency care significantly and ensure that we are providing pre-hospital care to our people. This is part of what we call delivering to the manifesto pledges. On behalf of His Excellency the President, Nana Rudan Kwakufuadu, 307 ambulances. We thank you all and God bless us all. God bless Mother Ghana. Thank you all. That was a short video on the processes that led to the procurement of these beautiful ambulances. We have at Buama Aqua. Government authorities, Honorable Joe Dankwa. Can also see the Coastal Development Authority, CEO, Honorable Jerry Ahmed. And very soon, the president will be arriving. Piece of work that we need to recognize. We'll get an ambulance. So no constituency will live here empty hand. We have that is the National Ambulance Service doing so well. want to recognize the presence and still the presence of His Excellency and that people call the technology man. His Excellency, the Vice President, is in our midst. And this is a very special occasion. I remember the Ministry of Special Development Initiative carrying out and one singular item that featured one item that each of them Message very important to the people of this country, stated and hinted by the minister that no constituency will live here who go with an ambulance. At least each of them will go with an ambulance. Leaders. They've done so well. They've been 
the government to our traditional leaders. Regional Chairman of the ruling New Patriotic Party, Honorable Divine Agohum. We have Chairman Omari Wadie. He's also a Vice Chairman of New Patriotic Party. I've also seen. I have seen lots of dignitaries to witness this auspicious occasion, very important, 307 ambulances are going to be distributed and this is as stated by the CEO of Ghana Ambulance Service, a minister whose ministry delivered these ambulances. And we have the minister, the, the minister is the honorable Goku, beautiful ambulances. And we are going to them into good use. We have in our midst the board chairman for the Middle Development Authority, Honorable Alex Granchi. Star Square We have Reverend Minister Reverend Father Andrew Campbell the parish priest of Christ the King Catholic Church As been stated, Reverend Father Andrew Campbell, apart from being the parish priest of the Christ the King Catholic Church, he is also the parish priest of the Jubilee House. We have the Metropolitan Municipal and district chief executives here but all of them are here they don't want to miss this very important for equipment north honorable dennis abwaji here The man who is going to anchor the entire program is the member of parliament for Ofwasi Airebi. He is the minister for information. Honorable Kojo 
upon Nkrumah. Honorable. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Ministers of State, members of the Diplomatic Corps, welcome to the Black Star Square, where today government dispatches 307 ambulances to constituencies and emergency centers across the country. In a few minutes, His Excellency the President, Nanado Dankwa Kufuado will join us here at the Black Star Square. When he joins us, we'll first take the national salute, and then he will inspect the Guard of Honor mounted by the emergency medical technicians. We shall invite the Chief Executive of the National Ambulance Service to give us an official welcome and the history of the National Ambulance Service and the journey so the dispatch center and ancillary services, the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, the Honorable Mavis Hawa Kumsen, will join us with some remarks, after which the ministry address will be delivered by the minister responsible, the Honorable Kweku Ajimaimenu. We will have an opportunity to observe a very short simulation exercise of how these 307 ambulances, one of the largest consignments ever in the history of this country, will be put to use across the length and breadth of the Republic. And after that, His Excellency the Republic, as we dispatch these 307 ambulances and the country. Mind you, 275 of them will go to constituencies and the remaining will be placed at emergency centers on high incident routes across the country. So ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome once again. In a moment, His Excellency the President will join us. May we ask for some patriotic songs while we await the President's arrival. to the rest and the ambulances will be dispatched uh, a while ago we have the ladies and gentlemen may I ask you to rise wherever you are and, uh, the president of the Minister for Health the Minister for Special Development Initiative please join us as we receive His Excellency the President of the Republic ceremony seven ambulances by the Now, anthem, um, as is customary in uh, uh, Ghana uh, during occasions such as these, of course, there's always uh, the opening prayer and uh, it closes the program. Shortly, His Excellency the President will inspect a guard of honor mounted by the Emergency Medical Technicians Unit of the National Ambulance Service. The Minister of Information announced the parade that commander the makes his way of the parade. Two advanced is a Ghana National Fire Service Band. Ready, special. 
advanced electrical technician Slater Davoy Anini reporting. Mr. President. His Excellency the President will now inspect the Guard of Honor Mount by the Emergency Medical Technicians Unit of the National Ambulance Service. May we ask media persons flying drones, you have 160 seconds to land your drones. Media persons flying drones, you have 160 seconds to land your drones or else they will be landed for you. Media persons flying drones, land your drones, else they will be landed for you. by personnel of the National Ambulance Service. Uh, they're known as emergency medical technicians. Of course, the ceremony comes after an earlier postponement from January 6, 2020 to today, Tuesday, 28th January, over claims that the training of emergency medical technicians and installation of tracking devices were still ongoing at the time. Well, we have been told that unlike the previous set of ambulances, these new ambulances have been insured and uh, they were treated like any other government vehicles and because um, they have been insured now, that becomes something we should be happy about. In the past, we are told that uh, we used to have a lot of challenges. For example, with this comprehensive insurance, it takes away the burden of the case where there is an accident and uh, the ambulance service has difficulties and so on. Of course, um, the Father Campbell has been invited and he will then lead the opening prayer, the Christian prayer, to be precise. <laughs> 